In this lecture, we'll learn with you what comments are and what type of comments are available in Java source code. And apart from that, we'll talk together regarding tips and best practices while using comments. First of all, let's come up with comments definition here. The Java comments are statements that are not executed by GVM. The comments can be used to provide information or explanation about the variable, method, class or any statement. It can also be used to hide program code temporarily. Comments often used to leave so-called to-do comments, mentions to not forget to restructure code or to add something in the future. There are three types of comments in Java – single line, multi line and Java doc. Let's take a closer look on how comments are look like in our Eclipse workspace. Here is our Hello World application, which we all know. Let's add single line comment right after console output. Double slash to do add more code here in the future. By the way, in Eclipse, if you want to find all to do comments in your code, just go to Window, Show View, Tasks. Here it is. Just don't forget to save your file before that. Eclipse parses all to do comments and lists it here. I used this tool many times. There is a hotkey for single line comment. For example, you can comment this code line by pressing Ctrl plus slash and uncomment in the same way. You can select few lines, for example, the whole method and comment it the same way with hotkeys and uncomment it if you wish with the hotkeys. Now let's create multi-line comment. Type slash, asterisk and enter. You see how Eclipse helps us to write multi-line comment. You can type something like this. Please do not remove this code. And now let me show you Java doc. The first thing you should know about Java doc is that this type of comments can be converted to nice looking HTML pages. In GDK we have Java doc program which generates these HTML pages out of our source code. Let me show you example. Here is official Java doc of string class. You can see class description, constructor, fields, methods, all of them are clickable. For example, let me click here you can generate the same documentation. Let's learn how to do this. Let's create Java documentation for our main method. Slash, double asterisk, enter. And here your comment goes. The entry point to the program. You can see this tag param. It is used to add parameter to parameter section in Java doc. I will share with you more tags to learn in the homework section. Meanwhile, let's add clarification here. Input arguments. Let's also add Java doc to our class. You can see author tag here. I will leave the next comment here. Hello world application. Now we can save the file. We are good to generate Java doc. To generate Java doc from Eclipse, press project, generate Java doc. Here you see configurations. You can configure output folder for your documentation. I will leave default settings here and will press finish. Now you can see that doc directory appeared in our project. Let's expand it. Find index.html file and open it. You can open it in any browser or you can just use built-in Eclipse browser. Right click, open with web browser. And here we have our documentation. Congratulations! This is your first documentation to your first program. You see our class here. Here is our class description, author, constructors, methods. Here is our main method description. And here's our arguments description. Let me share with you tips and best practices of using comments in Java. The first thing you need to remember, in case you want to comment chunk of code to hide this code, just remove it. If you don't need this code, that means you don't need this code. I faced with this so many times when developers comment their or others code and leave it just in case. 
Be smart, you will learn how to use version control systems and believe me, there is no such cases when you need to leave code just in case, especially when you have version control system. Because this will end up having a lot of commented code which nobody knows what is it for and you won't be able to support it. My next advice, always remember that comments require maintenance. You need to keep them up to date and relevant. Don't forget about this. I'm trying to be a good tutor and I'm saying that writing Java doc is great, but also I have to prepare you for real life. In real life you would notice that not all developers write comments. Why? Because sometimes they are not needed. Because you have live documentation. Your unit tests. Unit tests are updated as you change your code. We will discuss in later lessons TDD approach and goals of unit testing. But for now, just remember, in case you have solid unit test code coverage and you follow Java naming conventions and choose meaningful names for variables and methods, sometimes javadoc in this case is redundant. Today we learned what comments are, now we also know what types of comments we have in Java. You saw how to generate javadoc from the source code and also I shared with you tips and best practices of comments usage in real life. And your homework. Create a Java doc for your Hello World application and generate documentation from your source code. Also during the lesson you saw only few Java doc tags. There are no need to go over each of them because most of them self-describing. You know already how to use them. Just take a look through this table to know what other tags you can use.